My name is Anna Bilkina. I'm an immunologist. I'm an assistant professor of pathology at Boston University School of Medicine, and I'm also an associate director of the Flow Cytometry Core Facility. In our lab, we're studying chronic inflammation in various contexts, so mostly we're interested in HIV, but also in other diseases. Uh, and when I'm wearing my uh, core director hat, I'm assisting users and PIs across the whole campus. So the topics vary from uh, very basic research to translational research. Once we got the Aurora, there were several groups of users that jumped on it right away. And some of them are immunologists. They know, they know how to do big panels, but they just wanted to expand whatever they're doing to uh, higher parameters. So there are some people who do diabetes research and some people who do cancer research. Uh, and the others were more, they were facing more difficulties with uh, working with more tricky cells. Uh, there are several groups who do lung research and lung cells are notoriously bad for autofluorescence and that basically eats up all the dynamic range of the detection very often. So these people were able to both get their panels working, get their panels working big and uh, detect dim markers over the autofluorescence problems that they had. So that basically solved the problem for them. For those people who want to get their Aurora, I think it's a great idea. Uh, you will get a lot of support and tailored support to answer your needs. I would say that for the simple experiments, you would be able to start right away. And probably the basic training that you will receive would be sufficient for that. For very advanced applications, you will get continuous support from CIDEC. And I mean, we were pushing the limits of what the machine can do from the very start. And we were in touch with CIDEC all the time. And they were able to probably do some R&D on their end to answer our questions in real time. So that was fantastic. And for, I would say, mid-range applications, I would say just you need to budget some time to make them work out. The solutions are there. They are basically within the training that you receive, but you need to allow yourself time to overcome the learning curve for you and for your users, and then you'll be ready to go. We're getting the UV laser uh, mid-summer, and that would bring us to towards 30 colors and beyond for larger panels, and that's definitely what I have on my whiteboard for my own research. And for the core, we're planning to train more users to use the existing instrument, but also we expect there will be a certain bottleneck very soon because that instrument becomes popular. So we are considering purchasing a smaller Northern Lights machine to satisfy the needs of people who do not need to go to 30 colors, but maybe just need 20 or something.